Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we'll be discussing next problem based on stocks, which is again one of the hardest problems of lead code. So I want all you guys to please pause the video for once and please read the question. So I hope you all must have read the question. For all those who have not understood the question, let me explain the question for once. So what the question says is that you're given an array which contains the stock prices and you can make at most two transactions and you have to maximize the profit. So suppose let's take this example, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, suppose you buy on this day and you sell on this day. Now you can again buy on this day and you sell on this day. This means you have completed two transactions. When you bought on this day and you sold on this day, this means you have completed one transaction. Now you, you're left with only one transaction. So this way you have to maximize the profit. So profit in first transaction was three minus one. Similarly, profit in second transaction was five minus three, which is two, which is two, which is four. So if you do the transactions this way, uh, the profit would be four. You can modify the way you want to make the transactions and you have to maximize the profit. This is the question. So I hope you all must have got the question. Let's move to the approach. Okay. So how will we approach this question? So suppose this is the price array, which we are given. Okay. Now I need to make at max two transactions, right? So, uh, and I need to maximize this. So what I would do is I can actually make a break here, which means I have to do my first transaction in this sub array and I have to do my second transaction in this sub array. But actually I can make a break here also now, which means that I have to do my first transaction in this sub array and I have to do my second transaction or in this sub array. So what is, so my actual, so if I know for each index, what is the left profit plus right profit? If I calculate this left profit plus right profit, for each index, and then I just need to find the maximum of this, right? That which index gives us the maximum value of this left profit plus right profit, right? Now let's calculate the left profit. So suppose I take this sub array, uh, uh, this array as the example. So I've taken this array as the example and I'm calculating left profit for each index. If I only have this sub array, the profit is zero actually, right? The profit is zero because um, we have to buy on this day only and sell on this day. So profit is zero. Now profit for this day. So again, I have two possibilities whether to involve this day in transaction or not. If I involve this day in transaction, then I have to find the minimum in the left sub array because only then I can make the maximum profit, right? Because when I buy, when the stock price is minimum and sell on this day, then only I can make the maximum profit. So what is the minimum in the left sub array? It is three only. So three minus three is zero. Or I have one more possibility, which is I do not involve in transaction on this day. I do not. If I do not involve in transaction on this day, my profit is actually stored in the previous index only which is again zero. So my maximum of zero comma zero is actually zero. Only. Now let's come to this example. Again, two possibilities, whether to involve in transaction on this day. If I involve in transaction, the minimum in the left sub area is three. So my profit, if I involve in transaction on this day is five minus three equal to two. And if I do not involve in transaction on this day, which means what is the profit in this sub area? And the profit in this sub is actually stored at this. So maximum of two comma zero is actually two. So now I move to this index. Uh, the minimum among this is three. So if I involve in transaction on this day, it is zero minus three, which is I'm in a loss. 
and my second possibility if i do not involve in transaction on this day which means my maximum profit is 2 and maximum among minus 3 comma 2 is 2 so profit till this index is 2 similarly for this index also it will come to for this index it will come to for this index also it will come to and for this index also so no for this index what is the minimum minimum is 1 so 4 minus 1 is 3 if uh, so 3 is the profit which i make if i involve in transaction on this day now if i do not involve in transaction on this day which means the answer is 2 so maximum of 3 comma 2 is actually 3 so this way i have calculated my answers which it, which is a left profit for each index so this is my similarly let's calculate the right profit array for each index so if i want to find the right profit if i involve only on this day in the transaction my answer is zero because if you buy on this day and sell on this day the profit is zero actually now if i now for this index which involves this sub array there are two possibilities again whether to involve in transaction on this day which means you will buy on this day and you will sell on the day when the stock price is maximum in the remaining sub array right because you have to buy first na then only you can sell so you will buy first so in the earlier for the left profit i was calculating the minimum of the remaining sub array left sub array but in this case i'll calculate the maximum in the right sub array so uh, what is the maximum in the right sub array maximum is 4 so if i involve in transaction on this day my profit is 4 minus 1 which is 3 or if i do not involve in any transaction on this day which is actually stored at this index so maximum among 3 comma 0 is 3 similarly we'll calculate for this index also maximum among the right if i involve in transaction on this day is 4 so 4 minus 3 is 1 and if i do not involve in transaction on this day which means profit in this sub array is actually stored at this so maximum in 1 and 3 is 3 similarly we'll calculate for this index also which means maximum 4 minus 0 is 4 and if i do not involve in transaction then my profit is 3 so maximum among 4 comma 3 is 4 similarly we can fill this complete array so this way i have completed my both the arrays which is left profit as well as the right profit now so i have got my left profit also and my right profit also now what could be my answer i make a break here which means i calculate my left i have to make a transaction in this sub array and i have to make the my second transaction in this remaining sub array my profit is 0 plus 4 which is 4 Uh, now if i make my transaction first transaction till this sub array my answer is 4 and if i make my second transaction in this sub array my profit is 4 so the total profit which i can make is 4 similarly we can calculate for each index by summing up the two sub arrays two arrays so now i have got my sum for each and every index or each and every break now i can easily calculate maximum among this sub this array which actually takes o of n time so maximum among this array is 6 and as you can see my answer is also 6 so what is the complexity so complexity of making this left profit sub array was o of n similarly making this right profit array was also o of n then summing up and making this array is also o of n and calculating the maximum is also o of n so my net time complexity is o of n right now let's move to the code of this question okay. so this is the code so if my price is array which is which contains the prices of stocks on different days so if i if my size is less than 1 then i return 0 obviously my profit would be 
I am making a mini array in advance, which is actually calculating the minimum in the left sub array. Suppose, suppose this is the index. So this index will contain minimum among these three indexes. For this index, it will contain minimum in this array. So this is my mini. So this is the way I am calculating my minimum in the left array. I hope you'll get this code. This is a very easy code. Similarly, I am making my maximum array, which actually contains my maximum in the right array. So for this index, my maximum is maximum in this array. For this index, my maximum is maximum in this array. My for this index, my maximum is maximum in this array. This way, I am calculating uh, my maximum, in, uh, my maximum in the array, and I am scoring it in the beginning only. So this is my code for calculating the maximum. Now, I have made one array for storing the left profits. Similarly, I have made one array for storing the right profits. This is the way I am calculating my left profit and storing it in the array. Similarly, I am making my right profit and then I am calculating the maximum among left profit plus right profit for each index and I finally return my answer. So, I hope you have got this question. That's it for today guys. Make sure you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified next time when I am on YouTube. Till then, lots of love. This is Arun Goel signing off.